Okay, Afshar, thank you so much for your patience. I, I, I just, I don't, I, there's no way for me to express clearly how grateful I am for your patience. It means an awful lot to me. Um, but we are here. It is time. So, 6117, 6400, silver, silver, original. Case has some wear, but it is, this is entirely original. That's the bunny. That is it. Moscow, London, GMT. That's, that funny, yeah, cool. All right, well, as with all of the watches at this stage, it's been a long time since I looked inside. Okay, we, we got a little bit of rust going on. Okay, hang on just one second. Oops. I think you got a little bit of pitting inside this case back. Not a lot. I've certainly seen worse. Boy, it's a good thing the dial and the hands didn't get messed up. Because when the when this happens, the when the when the seals when the crown seal fails, the water comes in and it wicks around underneath this. It has, it's all because of um, surface tension, capillary action, and it. Surfs it, it surfs around here and this gets destroyed. If that held the water though, usual lower mainspring arbor issues. Okay. Definitely dirty. Lots and lots and lots of little rusty flakes everywhere. Hang on, which one second? Gosh darn it, Milo. Milo everywhere. Ridiculous. He shouldn't even be in here. Okay. Well, she's a runner. That's good, she clicks over just a hair. Okay, well let me see about getting this movement ring out because it seems like it's pretty well stuck in there. Hang on. Yeah, it is. Come on, get out, out. Okay, let me pause. Yeah, usual, usual thing. So you're, um, I can clean up this movement ring Probably, your your spring is done for. Um, I'll I'll see how the uh, how the the ring itself looks. The ring is made of brass. That's not a problem. The spring is made of steel, and it rusts like a oh like nobody's business. I bet you anything that crown seal failed because the dial looks okay. Oh, that's a is one e. Yep, absolutely. You can see the. You can see the rust in there. It's not completely seized up. That's a good thing. Yikes. Dirty and gross, though. Yeah, that's where the problem is. That's where that failed. But if we look at the other side of things, huh, look, at the, uh, look at the rust that came out of this. Yikes. We look at the other side of things, though. You got a little bit of patina on the hands there. Dial looks okay. I'll do my best to clean that up. That darkness in the hand loom is going to stay. Not sure about the dial. Ah. 
Oh, yeah, isn't that nice? Okay. Well, we know it runs a little bit. Uh, we know the dial and the hands are pretty decent, so that's good. Um, I will look and see if I have a better handset, I'll suggest that, but I need to dig through my supplies and see. Uh, let me get this case apart and get things get things rolling. Okay, so the way that the indicator rings on these, the city rings work, is you've got this metal piece here, which you can see has some corrosion on it, but not bad. But it sits on top of, but is not bonded to this. This is the, the actual teethy gear ring thingy. Uh, this one, this sometimes happens. You can see we've got some damage to the teeth here. I'll do my best to clean it up. That's not really going to be better. Uh, and I'm certain that I do not have a replacement wheel. But I'm going to clean this up and we'll see how it behaves once that's done. Okay, so here we go. This is the front of these. These uh, these World Times, the way that they're set up, um, it's it's easier to build it backwards, basically, to go through the other way. Because these, it's not fixed in place. Like the... The date guard for a, like a 6105 or something holds everything in place. This does not. It's just free floating, which is why they use the old school um, warpy spring washer there. Let's see, all this stuff just comes right off. It's dirty, but I mean, thankfully, no, no water got in here, which is nice. Okay, let me pull this. Again, we got... Uh, we got pretty lucky, pretty lucky. A lot of times when water gets into the crown, it, it what it will also do is it'll wick up and and get underneath like the setting lever and everything that's here, all of the the all of the material that's here, a lot of which is unique to this mod to this movement type, um, and it'll just eat the stuff alive. So we're very very fortunate. Uh, it looks like we've only got little flakes and flicks here. And that is truly dodging a bullet. So, good news. So, so far, again, it's we got real lucky. You can see things are hazy, but like it's not real dirty. Like I haven't cleaned this at all. Look at the look at the the shine on the lower on the upper mainspring arbor. Look at that. That is not something I see very often. I don't think this watch had a lot of miles on it. I mean, the case is certainly worn, but rest of it doesn't look bad. Uh, your lower mainspring R report, though, is worn. We can see the brassing around the edge, but, you know, that's real typical, as we all know. But so far, I have not seen any, any serious moisture intrusion, like, at all. Very, very fortunate, because it could have been, this could have been real bad. Shiny metal. Hmm. Lucky. Lucky, lucky. Hacking lever. So far, so good. And now that just the last bit of fun. That wide slot bridge out of the center wheel cock out of there. Oop. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Mm, still got pretty lucky, all things considered. Shiny metal. There's nothing worse than when you see water that gets pulled into the train. Uh, your lower mainspring arbor port's worn, but I mean, who's surprised about that? No one. Okay, I gotta do, I'm gonna have to do manual cleaning and corrosion remediation on this and the case and a bunch of other different stuff. Your movement ring spring is, of course, toasted. This is broken in half because it just rusts through.
it's just the way that it goes. Okay, so I'm gonna clean this up and then we'll go from there. Okay, well, as usually happens when I don't run into any problems, uh, I didn't do any filming during the assembly process. But that's a good, no news is good news, right? Chugging along. Literally just got it running. It is the end of my day. So I'm gonna, oh, I suppose I might look at the numbers real quick, but uh, looking pretty steady. Looking pretty decent. Look at how clean it is. It's so satisfying. Okay. Okay, I am approaching the end, which is nice. You can see if you look, there's still, there's a little bit of pitting in the case back, case area here, but it's not bad. Um, this is your original movement ring, and it's pretty pitted, and I'm concerned about it shedding material. This is after I cleaned the heck out of it. Your, um, obviously your movement spring is junk. See your old crystal there. There's your movement spring broken. So at this point, it simply would be better to go with new old stock, which is right there. That's what I'm talking about. If it's gonna be inside, it needs to be clean. Nice and clean, just like that. So we have a brand new, perfect ring in there. That is what we want. And that's it. Uh, well, your bracelet is actually, I'm still working on your bracelet because it has some, it's extremely, it still has some corrosion inside. And of course, one of the connecting pins is broken. Uh, so I'm still working on that, but the watch itself is ready to go. It's so nice when these get all cleaned up and everything. There's your new crystal and all that other kind of stuff. Super nice, early piece, proof mark case back. One of the early ones. It's so nice to see these. I mean, Hi. just for fun, let's compare it to one of mine. Are you ready? One of mine out of the project stores that's unrestored. That's what I'm talking about. Isn't it amazing? The power of cleaning. Anyway, there it is. a nice piece. I cleaned up the hands as uh, best I could. The loom is still has a little bit of marking there in the middle, but you know, it's original. That's a heck of a nice watch. Always fun to work on these. I don't get to work on them as often as you'd think. It's, it's interesting, but I don't. Okay, there you go. Thank you much.